Uh, okay, so today I'm going to show you how to browse YouTube in the most comfy way possible. Now, of course, uh, we are on Linux. We don't want to be using web browsers for as much as possible. We want to be using uh, the command line for everything you can possibly use the command line for. Uh, now, this will require uh, MPV and uh, 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 YouTube DL uh, to stream YouTube videos. Now, uh, Mental Outlaw already has a great video about FF to MPV, which is a great um, Firefox plugin and a little extra stuff on the side, which allows you to uh, directly from Firefox play YouTube videos and certain other videos in MPV. And that is a great plugin, but Firefox is a web browser, and web browsers, as we all know, are bloated, right? They're bloat. We don't want to be using any bloat here. We want to be using uh, the command line. And um, I found this great program. There's a few... Uh, similar programs which allow you to search uh, YouTube and uh, just from the command line but the one I like to use is YTFZF right and so FZF of course if you don't know is like a fuzzy uh, search thing where you can you know search through all your your photos and whatever um, but YTFZF is uh, YTFZF it's it's basically adds YouTube to FZF um, or such as YouTube via FZF. So if we type YTFZF and then let's go with uh, my own channel, Roy Naton. It's kind of hard to type with one hand. Uh, you can see it will search YouTube for all of my videos and you can narrow it down by adding extra stuff here and scroll with the arrow keys. It's kind of annoying that scrolling is arrow keys and not Vim keys. I'm sure you can change that somewhere in, in some .config file, but um. There you go, and of course, if I press one of my videos, let's go with um, installing NetBSD as a form of self-harm. Uh, <laughs> it will take a minute to load, and uh, we will soon, hopefully, have my video opened in MPV, as you can see over here. And it's playing with audio, everything nice in MPV. We can full screen it. Everything's Anything. working perfectly well. Um, but there, there is a a, a little extra thing which makes YTFZF, in my opinion, slightly better than the other YouTube search through command line applications, and that is the dash T function. Uh, and that uh, will, as you can see, downloading thumbnails. Now I can see all my thumbnails in the command line, not just uh, the text, which is really nice. Uh, I, I really quite like this. Um, but there is uh, actually one extra function that YTFZF has, which um, is arguably even better. And to do this, I actually have it bound to a keybind. So if I press on my computer, super shift Y, it will open up my D menu and I can search for, let's go with Jago Hazard in D menu. And from within D menu, I am now searching YouTube for Jago Hazard. Now you might be asking why? Jago Hazard, this random YouTube channel who talks about trains and stuff like that. Well, let's click on his latest video, Brixton's Long Lost, uh, Long Gone Cable Tram. Um, might take a second, but uh, it should open up in MPV. At the top of now, here's something. The other thing I want to talk about in this video. Do you notice how it just skipped halfway through the? It skipped this entire segment. That's because I have another MPV. Uh, or another special thing to help me with watching YouTube videos via MPV, and that is SponsorBlock. Now, um, SponsorBlock, if you don't know, is a, a browser plugin which, uh, via sort of collective voting, via democracies, everyone who you can vote on timestamps for a video basically and upload, select the timestamps for a video and upload them to however it works, and SponsorBlock will automatically skip sponsors in videos essentially and the main problem with watching youtube videos in mpv is that sponsor block is obviously a browser plugin but fortunately there is a great mpv lua script called um sponsor block mpv i'll leave a link in the description um which you just put it in your um let me cd.config sorry i am typing with one hand so um slash mpv uh and as you can see we have a, a scripts directory in here. So if we go into CD scripts and then LS, you can see I have MPV sponsor block. 
and that just implements sponsor blocks point functionality into MPV. Um, so again, if I open up something else in um, D menu with FZ uh, YTFZF, let's go with what will have a sponsor. Probably some. Uh, I don't know what's a video that has sponsors. This is why it's kind of hard for me to do this video. That's why I picked that Jago Hazard video because I know that it uh, it has a sponsor in it. Um, again, we can click on this, and I can't remember if it plays if it keeps playing from where you left off or if it will Before play from the beginning. Yeah, there you go. Sponsor block. Sponsor skipped, and now it will as soon as the buffering ends. At the play top of Brixton after the Hill block. is a bus garage. Uh, it also automatically adds chapter markers for the sponsors, so when you're skipping through, you can see where they are. Um, just generally two very handy little things which will help you browsing YouTube without ever having to actually use YouTube. And, uh, of course, I haven't explained how to actually um, set up the D menu stuff because, well, you might use Rofi or whatever, but it's all very clear in the documentation. Um, if you, uh, I'll, I'll leave the GitHub as well for F uh, YTFZF in the description. Uh, highly recommend both of these programs if you like to do things uh, without giving Google all of your data and money because that's another one of the great things about this is you're not watching it. You're not loading any of the bloated sidebar tabs and actually arguably the recommended video feature is more malicious than anything else on YouTube because that is an algorithm trying its best to keep you on the website and keep you generating profits by exploiting your very easily exploitable human brain. And uh, w with this incredibly sort of minimal setup, there is, of course, nothing like that. And so your e easily exploitable human brain won't be tricked into watching TikTok compilations. You can spend your time, you know, reading philosophy or whatever it is you like to do. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Um, make sure to check out both of those programs. Yeah.